Ah, oh, come on, Dave. Wow. Yes, sir. Y'all, I'm about to, uh, I think I want to play American Idol today just to kind of, because it's going to be funny. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on? What y'all doing, bro? It's screwed up. I don't want to listen to screw right now. No joke, no. Oh, yeah. Hey. What up, Kato? What up? Bro, we got to hang out after social distancing. I got a mask. What do you know? Finally letting this go. I've been moving too slow. Finally shaking for roll. Bro, I ain't got no voice, y'all. I had a voice last night or this morning, if y'all remember. But I had to stand up for myself. <laughs> or whatever. I ain't no punk, bro. I just, just if y'all ever thought I was, I just, I really, I'm really not. Why? Cause I, my poor voice, I can't even sing right now. Oh, 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 oh yeah. For you, girl. Why no? Why? Yeah, yeah. What up, bro? That good trip because I'm burying them all. Burying them all. I was yelling. I had somebody call me. It was like, you shut that damn thing. She to let us locate for this cash for the sake of the hell of the devil. I'm literal, liberal, and ghetto. I ain't a lover. Well, how can we move? 96 could burn up a scream in the blues. But I'm from views. But I got the two like I'm Bob. Still in my sauce like they rob. I'm prepared to a high place. I'm a legendary comic catch a ride up on the feet. The kid goes super saiyan. As you were saying, I'm not saying nothing at all. Give me my I gotta get to the cheese, cheese is out. Bro, I hate wearing this chain, dog. This joint be getting like engraved in my neck. I'm like, ah, you're getting choked. What's good with you? What's good with you? Cause I'm very, I'm bad. Cause I'm never in the long. I can't say it, y'all! I gotta stop yelling so much. Trying to get paid so like queso. She do whatever I say so. Stuck on my money a little. Bringing the fury, I'm credit. There's no credit one, baby. They playing for keys. Everybody just some sheep. Don't label my destiny. Invest in me. I ain't even been the best. Get you some sleep. I gotta get to the chase. I gotta get to the chicken. No farm, no harm can come to the man who is walking with God. I feel like Zabba in Houston. We swank from the vines. Joey Burke could really grind. Long road can't stop. Batman with the mop. We'll script with the crop. Long road. I know you hate it a lot. Hey, ain't for your top, no ZZ. Hey, home a dog like Fifi. Hey, the game in my palm like Kiki. Hey, Curry in the clutch, D3. Curry, I see them when they see me. Dog, I'll be telling you, I'll be talking, I'll be telling y'all what I'm doing. I'll be giving y'all the plans. Power and leash, go hunt them on. Run off on every song. These feelings ain't different, but you been missing, taking out with my drip. But you know where you at when you slipping, we come. All we do is dump, and I got some bass in the trunk. Never been a punk, close to with the dung. You ain't with the pump, who's it with the gun? Houston, where I'm from. I just think that you can have God and be a real person. My grace renews every day. I don't abuse that. I don't go out and act a fool just because I know that God is going to forgive me. But I know that I'm never going to be perfect. And there's going to be times where I will be weak. I'll be real. I'm not going to lie about it. I can't expose what I live. You can't expose what I talk about. I walk this walk for real. What you gonna say? I'm not confused about my sexuality. They're like, you're confused about. No, I'm not. Pull something up. Pull it up. Pull up a text message. Pull up a picture. Pull up a video. You can't. You cannot. I'm walking it. I'm walking for real. I'm walking away. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hey, I'm making mistakes. I'm, and I ain't even lied. I'm making mistakes. I ain't never said I ain't cuss. I ain't never said I ain't fight. The Lord told Peter not to cut off that ear in his name. But Lord, sometimes people be tripping. I got to slap him one time and say the name of Jesus, bro. Feel me? I can't do it. Sometimes I got to. But you know, I can't, I can't just be like, 
they said, you ain't gonna ever see me walking in the prison lineup just like, oh, they finally got my nigga, bro. Dang. He was the only hope we had. I'm preacher man from Black Lightning that got killed at the end. I guess I hope it don't go that go that that way. You know, I hope it don't go that way. But I'm I'm just not willing to sell out, bro. I'm not a sell out type of nigga. I'm not gonna sign my life away. I'm not gonna sell out and sign out for a dollar amount, bro. I'm already I'm broke. Hey, we're all broke. We all 23 and broke and trying to have a job. We all 23 and trying to figure it out and whatever. I ain't got no kids. Thank the Lord because I can I I barely figured it out for me. Woo! But I ain't, you know, I ain't broke. I ain't gonna always be broke. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna figure it out one day. And I'm gonna take some good people with me. I was taking the wrong niggas. I left mine. I was hurt, but the Lord told me I didn't need them. And now he putting people around me that I can trust. So I'm like, you know, he's expanding. Yo, he expands your mind. But you gotta open your book because that's where he talks to you at, bro. That's where he talks to you at. I had to start from the beginning. I'm about to revamp everything that I know. I'm about to read this Bible, dog. I'll just, it be boring sometimes. I don't want to read the measurements, bro. I don't want to read that Q50 cubits. Who, Zephyr, what's your name? Proof. I'm going to just call you Bob. Well, I, it's hard sometimes to be boring, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to just pray that he just increase my, you know, my hunger for the word, bro. For real, dog. You can you can preach transparency. You can live a real life. I'm never going to hide something, bro. If I get a girl pregnant, y'all going to be mad at me, dog. I'm serious. Y'all going to be so mad because I'm telling y'all what I'm on. I want a wife. I do. I'm trying not to let these girls dupe me, but they look good, man. They look good, man. They look so good. They just do. But like, oh, Lord. He'd be like, but Lord, come on. She's, she's gonna get me. Come on. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Somebody, I'd be like, that's why I stay in the house. That's why the double, that's why the double boat is on, bro. That's why the boat, double boat is on. Everybody can't come here. I remember when everybody could come here. I remember when everybody could come here, bro. <laughs> I remember when everybody could just show up here. I can't sing. I told you I'll scream my voice out. But I told you, I remember when I, when everybody could come here. And I'd just be like, two o'clock. One left, two, left. All right, hey, just so you know, it kind of. So you know, we are, we might need to buy it. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I, I just that's stressful. It's so stressful. Oh my god! What if I don't like you for real? What if you crazy? What if you just was only had that? What if you was ugly and I just didn't like the way you look? But I only I just wanted that, and then I'm just stuck. You know what I'm saying? I just think about too much, and I encourage my friends to think the same thing, bro. Just think for a second. What do you want, bro? Don't think, what did daddy do? What did mom do? What bishop do? What bishop say? Bishop, what'd you say? Hey, all right, so a real bishop is going to say, all right, open your Bibles. Oh, John 3.16 says, wait, open your Bibles and look for yourself and see that John 3.16 does say, for God so loved us. You know what I'm saying? He know. You know what I'm saying? That's what a bishop, that's what a leader does. He encourages you to challenge yourself because no, it's not going to be fun at first, but it's going to be worth it, bro. It's going to be worth it. Teach yourself right now to work hard. Teach yourself right now to be disciplined, bro. It's not wrong to be disciplined. You don't got to hate people because they gay. You don't got to hate people because they white, because they black, because they Chinese, because they whatever. You can kind of beat up on pedophile. I don't really support pedophilia and homophobia and, and all that other stuff. I'm still with the whole accept people as they come, but pedophilia, child, all that stuff, you can't do that. I, all that rape, all that, you can't do that. Can't do it. I'm not going to say that. that's not cool. The niggas that they're pretending don't happen, it's not cool. It's not cool. It's just not. I'm not gonna lie. If I saw a woman on the street getting her ass, I'm talking about I'm gonna lay you on the ground. I'm gonna lay you beneath the floor. Bro, you gonna be in the dirt. For real. You ain't gonna see me coming. Ooh, I'm gonna hit a nigga so I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about all the stuff I was mad about that day. Oh, dog. I'm gonna lay you smooth out, G. In the name of Jesus. I'm gonna come to your aid, girl. I don't know you, but. You be safe. I don't know what he gonna do, but I'm a, I ain't even gonna call the police. Hopefully he get together, cause they they bad too. I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna knock that dude smooth out of here. You gonna think twice, probably, bro. You gonna think seven times, please. You gonna think. You defend black women, bro. You defend women, period. Except the racist, crazy, crazy, horrible ones that want to do terrible stuff like Hillary Clinton. But I ain't going to talk about that. But anyways, um, and the real ones got back though. You realize I didn't have to come on here and say, I really just wanted to apologize for this and that. For what? 
what am I apologizing for? I ain't apologizing to my mama. I ain't apologizing to the label. I ain't apologizing to none of these niggas. I ain't apologizing to my friends that's also Kojic. I ain't apologizing to the Clark family that's Kojic. I'm Nisi Clark. I'm sorry. I love y'all. I'm Nisi Clark. I ain't apologizing to nobody. Why? Because it's true. When is the right time to say what's true? Would you just got to rape when the Lord says to... Well, how, who, how do you say it was the right time to say? How do you do when the Lord told me to say to say? It, I was just saying my opinion. Truly, I was just tweeting. Because Twitter is a journal. And niggas, I've been tweeting since Twitter was a thing. I, I come from a different generation. I wasn't born in 2008. I was born in 1996. Tupac died the year I was born. I grew up listening to 50 Cent and G-Unit. And G-Unit, I grew up listening to all that. And listening to Biggie Smiles. And when they, I started listening to the gospel when I was like 13. I started listening to gospel when I was like 13. I used to listen to Wu-Tang Clan, Our Future Wolf Gang, Tyler the Creator, Earl Sweatshirt, everybody you can think of. We used to, D'Angelo, Layla Hathaway. Y'all used to listen to it with me. Y'all know that this world, you don't, it ain't even that deep. You know this. Why y'all tripping? Why y'all tripping? Because she said something? Well, why you got a problem? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'm with it. You know, I'm with it. I just grew up now and I'm just like, I'm just a different type of dude. I speak a different. I play a different. I play basketball a certain type of way, bro. I play A to B. We dribble the ball to court and score. Maybe I score. Maybe you score. I don't believe in all that. Ugh, give me a second. Tweet, tweet, cross. Nigga, give me the ball. What are you doing? That's a shot clock. <laughs> Even when you playing in the and you playing in the in the hood, bro. It's a shot clock. What are you doing? We gotta make a smart decision now. Quick decisions only. That's what old people think. I was raised by old country ghetto niggas, bro. That's what I was raised by. I wasn't raised by Bishop Blue Alligator Shoes. I wasn't raised by him. I'm sorry. I still love God if that's okay with you. I still love the Lord the same. That's my dog. He heard my cry and pitted every groan. You feel me? That's my man's. I'm a shot it from the rooftops. And they could bust in and say, Do you love the Lord? Yeah. Ah. I'm gone. I'm sorry. I do. I do. For real. That's my dog. And I'm trying to get around some people that want to love him too, bro. And I'm tired of looking around and everybody just hurt. Everybody mad at the church, but they don't know why. I'm like, what? the church ain't that bad. If you really just more focus on the, it's some dope, dope music. I like quartet. I like, I like a good run. I like a good bump. I like the all of my life. I like all that. I like all of that. What you know about? I like church. I like chill church. I like worship. I like it all. We all love it. We all love it. We just love it. It's great. We love the Lord. He's great. So why the heck is it so? We love the Lord, but shut up and listen for me. I'm everybody's hold for applause. <laughs> the great animal blue alligator shoes is coming in. All right, all right, all right, all right. Shut up. Ooh. Do you have on your customary big hat? I better not see you without that hat. I swear to God. That we can't just come and say, what are we gathering together for to just, I like your suit this year, dog. Ooh, man, you sharp. Them green alligator shoes this year. Ooh, look at them sharp. You know what I'm saying? That ain't, we coming together to look at each other's clothes. Let's have how we come together and talk about the little boy that, that don't know how it's, that know itself. How we going to do for the youth what we can't do because everybody's too scared to talk about it. He lost, he gay, she is don't love herself and looking for it in the boy. He's sexually is obsessed with sex. She's crazy. I, let's talk about it. Let's do it, please. I, 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 I was going up, I was going up, I, I was growing up in a madhouse. Everybody was going through something and didn't even know it. But we all went to church every day. I grew up in every kind of church there is. Kojic, Baptist, Methodist, AME, I think, maybe, I don't know. Uh, Non-denominational, uh, Church of God, Church of Christ. I'm just like, it's all the same thing. What are y'all mad about? And then y'all not going to get rid of the, y'all not going to get rid of the differences. You're just not going to do it. It's fine. Who cares? You're not going to get rid of it. So let's just clean it up. Let's make it function. Let's make it, let's do something good for black people. Let's do this. this. is a black thing, obviously. White people get it. What does that even mean? Huh? What is the denomination? You know what it is. Pres Presbyterian, Lutheran, Mormon. You know all that. That's, a, that's what it is. But like, hey, let's just look at all this division. But Black Lives Matter. That's how we look. That's how we look. That's how we look. It hurts. It hurts more than it helps. I don't care if you're my mama. 
if you my daddy, if you my label head, if you Kirk Franklin, if you Jesus down the street, if you black Jesus from Adult Swim, if you Aqua Teen Hunger Force, I don't care. I'm going to say the same thing everywhere. I'm going to be the same person everywhere. I have flaws. I make mistakes. What y'all going to do? Come for my flaws? Stop diverting. Let's stay on the subject. I have flaws, sure. Okay, here's me and my flaws. Let's both talk to you. Hey, person that's supposed to do something about me and my flaws. Hey, person that's supposed to do something about me and my flaws. We're here to talk to you about why we're still here. Because flaws are still here. Hi. What are you doing about that? I'm hurt. Leader. Parent. Teacher. Big brother. All of that. I need. I need all of that. Where are you? I need to stay on topic. It would be different. It'd be different because the dude is gay. No, it's not. He's still hurt. It'd be different because the dude is. He's been on drugs. No, he's still hurt. It'd be different if a dude is on. It, it, it'd be different if a dude was. I don't know. Promiscuous. No, it's the same. It's still hurt. It's still hurt. And you hide about it. You think that you take my check away. I'm going to be like, oh, yes, Samantha. Okay, this is what I'm going to say what you say. Colin Kaepernick is still going to kneel for what he believe in. And he ain't worked for the NFL in a million years. But suddenly, Black Lives Matter. Colin Kaepernick needs to get his respect. Now the NFL is releasing a statement about Black Lives Matter. But before, it was a symbol for the flag that he was disrespecting a flag because he said that you endangering me because I'm a black nigga. Are you killing me for no reason? And I'm wrong for taking a stand against that when I'm black? And a nigga that you can kill for no reason when I think I pulled up on 59 for no reason while I'm Mexican a white cop that they have no reason to pull me over, put me in handcuffs and ask me what I did, put me in the back of the car, could have shot me in the face, my mom would have never saw me again. But I'm supposed to shut up and wait for the right time? When is the right time? When I'm 50 years old and I'll sharpen? Hell no! 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 Now, right now, is the right time. On time is the right time. All the time, nigger. It's on time, bro. It's the right time. It does is high. I hate Dulles. Sorry, y'all. I hate y'all. Y'all are terrible. Shouldn't have kicked me out. I can talk, bro. I can talk. I'm made for this. They use you to take out your grievances against Kojic, bro. They did. My voice is gone, dog. I'm talking about I did fried it up. And it don't help. Y'all know why it don't help. Because I don't make it no better. <laughs> I don't make it no better. I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to do three days, bro. Three days, bro. Give myself three days. Hey, Aj. I'm not going to tell everybody who... You know what I'm saying? My, I'm just like, you know, guys, We maybe maybe we wouldn't all be so broke. Maybe gospel wouldn't be the laughing stock of the world if we actually put God in here and ask his opinion and stop saying because the, the enemy controls this, we have to conform to the enemy. We're better than that, bro. We look down on him, bro. Like, niggas, forget what? What? You're my son, dude. You're my son. We don't even acknowledge you. You're not even an illegitimate child. You're illegitimate, you're illegitimate, bro. You're a joke. You're a joke. Why am I listening to what you say? And why am I listening to what you say? And something that we glorify God in. It's because what we believe has been perverted, bro. It's been perverted. And they're going to call me crazy. They're going to call you crazy. They call me They already called me. They call me crazy. It's my trigger word. I'm in therapy. I'm like, listen. A nigga call me crazy. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to I'm ready to lay nigga on his neck, bro. Crazy? Ooh. I'll be ready for my parents to drop that. I'll be breaking them down with the facts, dog. Like, Ma, okay. You just want to say crazy because you can't use your brain, huh? Oh, I'm the only one that got a brain, huh? You can't use that. So you going to call me crazy? Oh, okay. Because I thought somebody that had a brain said something. Oh. No, I'm saying they said the same thing about Nisi because she was a person. People think I changed my name on Twitter after that tweet. My name was already. I saw that movie. My mama made me. My mama made me watch that movie. You have to watch it. I don't want to watch this. Watch it. No. Okay, fine. Whatever. I watch it. That was that was the most heartbreaking thing I'd ever seen, bro. 
And it hurt my heart so much because I saw myself. I was like, dang, bro. That's wild. That's your family. This is your mother. This is, this is God, though. Niggas is sitting at a round table discussing why what you doing don't make them look good. Y'all. Not God. Y'all. And you take that back to your... F that ain't what I'm talking about. I love y'all. I just, you know, it just, it, it does what it does and it works and it, people don't always have the strength to say, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with this. I have the strength to say I don't agree with this. I have the strength to say that I don't agree with this. My God would not agree with this. He's looking at this world as on fire, bro. You know what I'm saying? This world is on fire, bro. It's bad. And I've never been the type of person to listen to people. If y'all pay attention, bro, the Walls Group wasn't rapping before me. You know, the Walls Group wasn't, we was singing Wade in the Water, Burdens Down, Freedom, all that. I said, hey, I think I can do this. You know you can. All right, I'm gonna go do it on my own and see if I can make it work. Those who agree and that think so can follow and get your blessing over there if you think so, because I'm doing this from the heart. I think it feels right. I'm not gonna concern myself with what you think because while I care about what you think, I just, something about my spirit says, that's okay, one day, right? Yeah, I'm tripping y'all, hold on. Anyways. It's real, bro. That's real, bro. Hurt is real, bro. Hurt is real, dog. But you can choose to live through your hurt, bro. You can choose to live through your hurt, bro. You can choose to take little brothers and find brothers, find people that can move and think. They choose to live, bro, instead of being shackled to what people tell them to do. And not because it's wrong, because it's some things that are wrong, bro. But you being a person and having flaws and making mistakes, even though people make you believe that about Christianity, if you atheists on here, bro, that's not true, bro. There's a God in Jesus, the Holy Trinity, that loves you, bro. Regardless of what you look like, regardless of what you wear, regardless of how you think, regardless of where you've been, regardless if you're a crib, a blood, if you've been a killer, if you've been any type of person, bro, they'll love you anyway. If you gay, if you straight, if you white, if you don't know, he loves you anyway, bro. That you should never feel crazy or hide or hate who you are because people tell you to. That's wrong. That's wrong, and I'm going to tell y'all, God thinks that's wrong. Y'all can call me crazy. Y'all can say, oh, this nigga tripping. He done insulted my feelings that hurt. Man, fuck your feelings, bro. Fuck your feelings, dog. It's deeper than that. It's people like me walking around younger than me that don't have the strength to say, I'm going to get up again every time these niggas knock me down, even though they try to keep me down. Everybody not me, but I'm going to arm these niggas so they could be another me. They could be they self and be themselves, and they could be another them, another them, another them, that the next generation could come up and say, I'm strong enough to make it through my issues because I'm strong enough to face my issues instead of hide and lie about them. Never gonna lie about anything. That's what Christianity is. That's what following God is. That's what having a relationship with God is. Nigga said some stuff yesterday, but I could not believe. And my first mind, because I'm like that. I am. People don't believe it. I don't have nothing to prove. People think I got, people think you got something to prove. I'd have been out here before. I'd have been around the guys. I'd have been in the car. I got a gun. I got one. It's real. I will use it. I will. Yo, I ain't. You feel me? Like, 
It ain't, it, but it ain't about that, bro. It ain't about proving that you hard. It ain't about following these niggas that's just proving and showing money and shaking ass and all that. It's just like, man, there's some other stuff going on, bro. Look, bro, that's your concert because your music bumping, bro. That's cool. What else? What you saying after that? You on the internet promoting a lifestyle that promotes death and destruction, G. Y'all mad at me because I say ass. Because I bleed for y'all to see. I'm not going to hide it. Y'all find out on the internet 20 years. Did y'all know that Perfect Bishop Alligator Green Shoes says ass? Yeah. I, I have respect for God. And I will say, you know, if I'm in his house, if I'm in his sanctuary, I know how to watch myself. And I know how to be cool. That's respect, bro. Because I respect God. You feel me? But like. I'm still going to have a real relationship with him. And you're not going to tell me that I'm wrong for saying that God is really than all your stupid idiot policies and stupid idiot positions and leaders and idiots that don't know what they're doing that's to led us in damn hell for the last 100 years and all that and that's to conspired against us and made us look stupid. Made God look stupid. Like a joke. But you mad at me. This is, this belongs to us. And the, really, the reality of it is, the niggas that's mad is going to be mad. But let me tell you something. You mad, you probably got a fluffy white afro or whatever you think, and you probably up there mad. But guess what, baby? This ain't Genesis 19, 14, 12, or nothing. You're not living past Genesis 7, 1, 2, 4. You're not living for 900 years. you living for 90, and it, 100 and whatever. If we talk about 2020, you living until you 75. Especially if you black. Soul food. So guess what? You got to die one day. You ain't immortal. And neither are your stupid policies and your idiot rules. And your stupid, destructive, killer mentality, bro. It's idiotic. It's dumb. I'm not going to spread and promote that because I'm getting paid. I will be broke. I'll be homeless before I support someone I don't believe in. I will. I don't care. That's prideful. That's dumb. Think about the others. I'm thinking about the others. That's why. I'm not going to talk the talk I really want to talk because this is, inter this is the internet. I'm not stupid. But I'm always thinking about the others. If you notice, I live so transparently because I've seen careers be destroyed by lies, deception, and what? Trying to portray that they're perfect. We are God-like beings, not God. God is perfect. We are flesh and spirit. God is a spirit. Flesh goes against everything spirit. We are flawed. We will never be like God. So to push an image and create an industry built around being perfect and telling everybody that we're better than them is dumb. It works against everything that we scream from the rooftops that we believe in. I've been fighting my whole life, bro. I've been fighting my family. I've been fighting my friends. I've been fighting this natural order, whatever life it is. And I've been fighting this industry, bro. And I've just been taking, I've been walking my line. I've been work, work, making my way downtown, walking fast, you know. And I made my lane and I'm just there. And I don't need no amen corner. I don't need nobody to signal. I don't need attention. Don't. My dad, mm, People, it's gonna say people. Y'all forget y'all heard that. They just love saying, You just do it all this for attention and money. I'm the only famous nigga I know that wants to not be famous. I'm the only famous nigga I know to hang out in the hood and be like, Bro, chill. Like, don't do that. Don't blow me up. Chill, bro. I'm hanging out. Don't, don't do that. I'm the only person that wanna just be a regular person. Because that's what this is, a regular life. I don't want to glorify my position. Forget that. I'm walking around here with y'all too. I'm on stage just singing a song because I know probably a little bit more than some people. And I'm equipped and qualified to shoot out some knowledge. And y'all y'all get it. Hey, absorb, please, and expand your mind. And one day maybe you're going to be up here doing this. I, hopefully you are because I'm going to get old and die one day. 
You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm on. That's all I'm on, bro. Everything that's just money, 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 ooh, that's my appeal. And because it's evil, it'll get a high position. We live in the world, not in heaven. That means that everything here is fleshly. Everything here is of who? Lucifer, Livy, him, that dude, his guy, evil. So if it's thriving, if it's doing great, and it's like popular in the popular thought, who do you think is the orchestrator? Not in all cases, because you see the people that are doing it the right way are unbothered. They're pure, they're clean, you know what I'm saying? Their hands is clean. But it's not a lot of them. It's not a lot of them. Because it's, the enemies worked his way even into the church. And you're crazy to believe he was the he was the choir director, bro. He know us. He know us. He know us better than we know us. If Jesus is black, you think God is black? He black. He mad. He got an attitude problem. You don't know your part. He was mad. They didn't know that part there. And you still catch me on. I was putting up with all these niggas ain't knowing that part. Are you serious? I was just thinking that I should have a high position. I should be maybe MD this time instead of choir director. But I got to go to hell. Okay. Well, I'm going to mess with the rest of the niggas that want to be in the choir. Fine. And everybody going to follow suit because everybody thinks that they should lead the choir. Everybody thinks that they should be MD. The director. There's only one director. Because there's only one play. We're all casted in it. There's only one director, one writer. And he don't need your help. It's not a Kojic issue. It's a church culture issue. But Kojic is included in church culture. So whether it's coaching specifically or church culture, sorry for people that I did not specify earlier for, that are just mad that I said, Kojic, you're an idol god, excuse me. Uh, this still included in church culture. Whether it's Baptist, Kojic, Apostolic, Church of God in Christ, Church of God in Church of Christ, uh, uh, PNW, uh, it, uh, Apostolic. Well, I've said all of them multiple times. I don't care. It's a lot of them. But I'm saying, like, the issues are the same. And they're 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 consistent throughout each, throughout each body, and I just I just want to question everybody: Are y'all tired of being sick? Are y'all tired of being tired? Are y'all tired of being broken? Are y'all tired? Of, this is not a call out. This is not a call out. It's not for anybody. It's just like check your heart, y'all. It's check what you check what you are committed to. Check who's your God? What is your idol? Is your idol God? Or is your idol position? Convention? Look? Image? Money? The world is in need of a heart check, bro. I had to check my own heart. I used to walk around, I used to hurt girls. I used to be like, yeah, y'all. Forget y'all, me, 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 I, 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 I'm perfect, I, I, I can't do no wrong. I used to, and I used to be like, you know, why you do me like that? But I could never say, why did you, why you was never available? Why you was never available? Why you talk to other girls? Why you be interested for a day and then go somewhere else? They did what they did because you did what you, it's, it's on both sides. You can't just ask why. You gotta ask yourself why. You have to be accountable. You have to have responsibility. You can't just say I'm a man and because I'm a position to be I'm in a position to be a man. You have to fill those shoes for real. Your feet gotta grow into them boots, G. You do, they do. You gotta be a real man. You gotta hold yourself accountable. You have to grow others. God puts men in the position of leadership, and we've made a mockery of that because men have been greedy and gross and weird and nasty, evil. And it's to the point where people are like, I'm over it to the point where we don't want a man leader. Where that's like, God, that's biblical, you know? But like, I understand what you're saying because the ones that we put up there that we trusted with all the stuff to work right, they just, man, this is my house now. Oh, this is my face. You, do, it's just, you just go there. Because I said so. Because it's my house. It's like, it's our house, bro. It's everybody's house. 
And so like maybe women would feel more inclined to follow a man if you were in a position to lead her. That's what a real man is. You nurture your mind. You don't think with the hide. You think for yourself. You ain't a man until you stop. What Jay, what Jay Cole say? You ain't a man until you stop chasing your friends, my nigga. Think for yourself. Make your own plans, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's true. But, you know, make your own plans. You know, the court, you know. I knew what he meant, though. You know what I'm saying? But, like, they would feel more inclined to follow us. And, like, we were more fit to lead them and be leaders in their life if we were more in a position to lead. And we would do that if we took our lives more serious. We just out here to look good. We want to buy the best shoes. We want to be draped up and dripped out. That's cool, but, like, what your mom look like, bro? What you doing for your little brother? Yeah, you having church on Instagram, and it sound good, and we exalt to the Lord, but how your family life? I'm sorry. Why, you know, we... I'm just saying, like, we talking about it all. Like, let's hold ourselves accountable. We can't just preach holiness and being clean, and we can't check ourselves. I can check myself. My friends think, my mama, you just, you just, you just are so off the leash, and you just, you're reckless. I'm, like, I'm not reckless, I'm honest. It's reckless to you because you believe that things that you do harm who you are, and they harm how people view you. They don't. People would view you with more honor if you were not so scared to bleed in front of them. I said, nobody that I've ever encountered has told me that I led them astray. And that's the thing I'm so afraid of. That's the thing I'm most afraid of. It's like I'm most afraid of, that's why I waited so long, that's why I won't preach. Because I'm like, what if I say the wrong thing? What if I lead somebody the wrong way? What if I hurt somebody in the process? What if I have a bad day and I'm not squeaky clean? That's why I won't do that. But you'd be surprised how many people you have saved just by saying, yo, I actually did have a bad day. But I'm going to look on the bright side of it because, you know, bad times ain't always. That's more real than good days, good days, good days, smile through the pain, pretend it ain't happening. How you, who you helping with that? Somebody else could say that and say, yo, I can deal with my issues a little bit better because the person that's leading me is saying, yo, it's okay to bleed real blood. You ain't got to pretend. It's ain't a movie, dog. We live in a real life. You make the wrong choices, you will die. It's a real thing. You are, you're all your family members, all your homies, your grannies, your papas, your bishops, your, your aunties, they done died and they ain't came back. They resting and getting ready for something else. What I just said wasn't wrong. Another idol. I have, I, you know, I preach in insecurity, but you know, God has just shown me more and more. He's like, throw out what you've known. Throw out what you've thrown out as the, I used to think that it was a, it was crazy talk. I used to think it was like, me preach to anybody. I don't want to do that. It's crazy. That's lame. I'm about to lose cool points, bro. I'm cool. I got, I'm locked on all my dogs. We're like, we good preaching. I'm about to be the preacher, nigga. Ugh. That's boring. Who want to do that? I'm like, ugh. But like you, 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 it's funny how your mind will change. You know what I'm saying? It's funny how your mind will change, and you'll stop feeling less like a a a, a death sentence and more like a privilege. I get to help somebody. <laughs> I get me with all the stuff that's wrong with me. The nigga that smoke weed, the nigga that fight still, the nigga that cuss, the nigga that pray, the nigga that make R and B music. Me, thug that get on with me. I got to go help somebody. Okay, cool. I guess you you can use anybody. I, I'll go. I ain't got nothing else to do. It's just about your relationship, bro. Uh, 
Need advice. What if a man is next because he wants to provide for his weekend? Listen, be honest about it. Don't lie. I don't lie. First of all, I started as I, swear, I started as friends. I told y'all. That's why I be like, y'all gonna tell me I was out there fooling around. I'm not, bro. No, I'm not. I'm, I started as friends now. You know, back in the day, I was like, I like you. Let's let's try to work something out. But now I'm like, can you be my friend at least? Do you know how to listen to me and walk and guide and walk with me? Can you understand sometimes I can't pay for McDonald's because I got to pay my light bill? Can you understand that sometimes I can't come out and, and look good and the best and be in great spirits because I'm worried about how I'm going to get through the next day? Can you understand that? That's what a friend could do. And if you can get past that, good luck with the relationship. You know, we can figure all the rest of that out. That's uh, that's you know that's 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 branches to the that's branches to the foundation. That's branches to the root to the tree. You know what I'm saying, I'm worried about the foundation of something, bro. I'm worried about the foundation of something, for real. And so I'm like, if you can't provide financially, brother, you know what I'm saying. Be honest about it and say we don't maybe don't need to make this move and dive into unhappiness just because we need to. Commit to something that people say that we should commit to. You should get married, yeah. And if she want to help you figure that out and blah, 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 and y'all can work it together. But you know what I'm saying? If Charlie don't hold a grudge, bro, got to figure it out for a little while. If you want to marry him, or just wait till he done with his process and can get his bag. Because he was honest with you. But women, sometimes y'all y'all got the pressure and we get scared because y'all burn us to ash for just having, oh my God, you know, it was an accident. I was like, ah, just communicate with me. Just talk to me. Because the next time, I'm not going to want to communicate with you at all. Because I'm going to be fearful for you. Even if you won't react the same way, I'm going to be fearful for you reacting the same way. So I won't trust you, parents. That's why your kids don't talk to you. That's why your kids don't talk to you. Even though you're so, you think you're so understanding. You think you so understand it. But you make them feel like trash for making mistakes. And it creates an environment of mistrust, hurt. I'm not going to tell you nothing. I'm going to figure it out. Forget you. I don't trust your words because you couldn't accept me in my words. So now I'm going to go figure out my best. And I'm not going to take none of your advice because how can somebody that says they love me treat me so bad? Be free for being human and having flaws. And therein lies the problem. So we don't trust our leaders, we don't trust our parents, we don't trust our teachers, we don't trust the government, we trust nobody because everybody's too scared to just say, it's all right to be honest. This has hurt me. Getting we isolate ourselves and think that's the solution when if we just would band together and say, yo, are you dealing with them, Yeah, dude. Oh, word. Oh, man, that's crazy. Oh. Because it's crazy how today, everybody is saying, you know, he was saying something that was just kind of true. And he wasn't even really attacking us. He was attacking uh, how we just, we are kind of like, oh my God. And I'm not about to say, I was right. I was wrong. I'm just looking like, I was, I was doing yesterday just looking. Because the fight gonna fight itself. The thing about God is, he fight his own battles. God don't want the, the banner and victory because he want a glory hog. He did all the work. <laughs> he did all the work. You, you'd be surprised how much work you'll do if you just be obedient. Okay, say it. I'm going to preach to the valley of the dry bones. Not because they going to be alive and they look alive. They ain't got no, how bone going to get some flesh? And who? How? He's a bone. Just preach. That will just start. Uh, uh, woo, 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 woo. And you're like, God, you can do anything. God, you can do anything. God, you can do anything. So God, you get the banner of my victory because you did all the work. Thank you for making my life prosperous, for making my life happy. I've lived for real. I don't even lead all the walls group songs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to write them now. I don't even see, I'm not the forefront nigga, dog. I'm just looking and watching and I'm trying to, hey, yo, I'm trying to catch some people like, yo, hey, oh my God, what? Oh my God. And trying to be, trying to catch myself too. But I'm like, you know what? 
No. Who said we was falling? So think about what you're mad about. Are you mad because, are you mad, are you mad because people have told you to be mad? And this is a fire? Because there's one nigga was on there yesterday, he was Baptist. Yeah, you you shouldn't have said much. Just cussing me out, calling my, talking stuff about my family, all kind of stuff, all kind of craziness. Because he was just wanting to be mad. He was, it's popular to be mad. It's popular to be mad. It's popular to be outraged. What are you outraged about it? And how can you effectively do something about it? Nigga, don't just go protest in the street because niggas is gathering in the street. Niggas gathering in the club too. And I ain't going there because it's corona there. You know what I'm saying? What's the plan? Because the police still killing us. Beating us down and we stand up with something. So we gonna go give you the rule. I dare you to kill me now. Uh. Black Lives Matter. Uh. Black Lives Matter. Uh. It's not doing nothing. Maybe step to the side this time. Maybe step to the right this time. Maybe fight back this time. Maybe take your ground back. Stop following what niggas is doing. And think for yourself. Let God think for you, bro. Open your woman Bible at, bro. You look at my Bible in my room. Dog. You surprised, you'd be surprised how you'll save your own life. How you'll come out of depression just because you'll sit and convene with God. And I did it on accident. I was going to kill myself at 14 years old. Going to church. What church was I at that time? I think I was missionary Baptist at that time. So look, going to church. Don't nobody know. My brother sleep on the side of the room. My mama downstairs. Going to kill myself. Don't nobody know. But I'm going to church. My relationship, if you watch the shack, with God was wide, not deep. My relationship with God is just getting deeper. It's just getting there. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't even know you was this crazy. What? Say what? Nah. Come on. Come on, dude. We got to not, we ain't trying to make niggas look bad. We just trying to, you know, we trying to plant a new tree, bro, because that tree about to die anyway. You know, it's about to die. And people got to see that there's still beauty in me. There's still love in me. There's still growth in me. There's still a room to grow with me, bro. You don't got to leave me out of it. You don't got to say I'm spiritual but not religious because religion has hurt you. Listen, there's still unorthodox Christians, radical Christians that believe that you can be flawed and love God. There's still love in me. So plant the seed. Uproot it, uproot it, uproot it. Please do it. Come. You know, everybody, when is the right time? When is the right time? Niggas still calling me. You ready to apologize? I'm not going to apologize. I'm taking you to counseling. You're manic. I'm manic. Mania? Let's think about mania real quick. Because I can't think of the definition off the top of my head. It sounds like you're crazy, right? Mania. Let's think of Tasmania. Tasmania. Let's think of... I think it's Tasmania. I was gonna say let's think of Tasmania. Let's think of Tasmania and Devil and how he's portrayed, but I forgot that the Tasmanian people were slaughtered. Sorry to anybody that is offended. Actually, I'm sorry. But um let's think about mania real quick. Because they portrayed Tasmanian Devil as black, crazy, uncontrollable mania. So they played on the name, obviously. Is a state of abnormally elevated arousal, effect, or energy level, and a state of heightened, of a state of heightened overall activation with enhanced effective expression toward lability of effect. Let's give me a more, um, give me a more feasible definition. It's a, um, it's a side effect of bipolar disorder. <laughs> I'm bipolar. Mainly include high levels of stress, changes in sleep pattern, lack of sleep. Okay. People need, bro. People need. And sorry to y'all who forgot this, that just come to church to look good. Church is for the people that don't look good. Church is for the niggas that's ugly. They got stuff. Some of us got stuff. Is that okay with you? No? Well, let's go make our own church. That's really real. 
there where God will actually attend, where he'll walk and convene with us. And he'll open up the windows of heaven and bless us for real, for not only our heart, but our bravery to challenge what is normal and widely accepted. Sorry. I'm not a preacher. I'm a hood nigga. Now I'm a suburban nigga because I don't even live in the hood no more. So. We will knock you out, though. Hey. Sounds so good. Yeah. need no writer. What up, Greg? Hey, Taylor. What's up, girl? Hey. What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling, bro? Um, you no need to apologize. God is bigger than Kojic. Or anything now. Church folk died. No, 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 I'm not going to read that like that. If you preached, I would join. <laughs> Keep doing you. Hey, Carrington. I should get out of here so I can say the live, huh? Because I, I lost the live about parenting, bro. And it was so important and I lost it, man. Because Instagram kicked me off. Hold on, I'm about to, I'm about to say this, John. Hold on. 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 Hold on.